There's been some huge changes in Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. In this video, we're going to talk about what's left and what to expect this year end. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Orgo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 was essentially gutted. <laughs> a lot of the uh, um, exciting... Um, gameplay mechanics have been removed from it and uh, it seems like cig is truly trying to uh, push for a 4.0 release by the end of this year so with these features being gutted it seems like that's what uh the intent is okay so just quickly let's just go over some of the features that they removed from stars alpha 4.0 all right so life support um has been removed which is also associated with engineering gameplay so engineering gameplay is also out uh fire hazards which is also associated to engineering gameplay is also out fire extinguishers which is also associated the solo burst that happens in pyro is also not going to be in um I'm not sure why they removed this one i don't know how complex it is um in terms of uh, technically on their side but it seems like it's complex enough for them to think that it's not worth keeping in right now. So also charge and drain. So those missions related to, um, you know, repowering certain systems at certain outposts that um, you would get those kinds of missions to do is also out as well as the transit system refactor over here. So it is unfortunate that they removed it, but it seems like they want to get Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 out as soon as possible so now let's talk about why what makes star citizen 4.0 the way i look at it right at least from this from this perspective of star citizen is when we let's let's go back to 3.0 when 3.0 came out what made it revolutionary from 2.0 to 3.0 was fully explorable planets right before in 2.0 we couldn't actually go down to the planet and, and walk around and things like that. And what made 3.0 revolutionary was one tech, the ability to go down to all these procedurally generated planets and to be able to explore it. So that was essentially the main technology that CIG implemented to make it um, a revolution from 2.0 to 3.0. So now the revolution moving from 3.0 to 4.0 is server meshing so this is what makes 4.0 4.0 this is what makes it revolutionary in order to start citizen to evolve to become the game that they intend to be and it seems like server meshing is the final step for star citizen to become the true game that they really want to do at the scale that they want to do it which is why we're starting to hear more about star citizen 1.0 to actually make it a legitimate game okay so all the other features aren't as important as server meshing all right so let's keep that in mind that server meshing is the revolutionary tech that is um, essential to make star citizen 4.0 4.0 all right so now let's see what's left right so after all this gutting let's see what's left and uh let's just quickly go over it all right so what's now remaining after they've got it all that um, are still some new locations right they have contested zones here they have contested zones which is still going to be a, a pretty good uh feature set to this is going to allow for pvp as well as pve as well okay so it's going to be really uh interesting for those that are interested in doing some pvp stuff also um the ability to fight over um worthwhile rewards at the end i hope they are worthwhile because the way they're setting it up seems like uh, it should be okay so also asteroid bases so now asteroid bases will be bases that you can uh, find as well as raid um they will be uh, populated with npcs um, which um you can go in with your, by yourself or with crew you have to fight off all the NPCs that's protecting the, the, the asteroid base as well as go inside and fight off the NPCs inside. And on the inside, there should be some rewards as well. So um, along with this comes all the planets, all of the Pyro's planets. The last um, 
Uh, when we did the tech preview last year and for Pyro, we only had access to just a few of them. But this time around, we're going to get all the planets for 4.0. Outpost colonialism. So these are the outposts that you'll be seeing in these uh, locations, as well as uh, Pyro space stations, which is what we can expect. Um, planets, moons. Okay, so that is done for location. So what's left is we're going to see the new Kazar Grazers, which is essentially the space cows under gameplay what remains is location repair which is what i um i believe i spoke about a little bit earlier it says here implementing new missions that introduce engineering gameplay into the persistent universe first um appearing in pyro's outpost players will be tasked with going to locations and fixing turbines uh wind turbines relays uh moisture extractors or solo panels this is done by repairing pipes with uh, your multi-tool charging batteries with new charge and drain feature or replacing broken components in the network that are broken so now charge and drain is not going to be in so it seems like we're going to get a lighter version of this feature set unless maybe they mistakenly left it here right but it seems like we're going to get a lighter version of these missions and i think they could they could just leave um, give us at least uh, replace maybe relays and maybe um, use our repair tool to repair uh, some of the broken components um, at these locations so we'll see what CIG does with this one um, jump points of course we need that this is essentially what makes it 4.0 um, the ability to jump from one locate one star system to another this is the revolutionary tech that I'm talking about in association with server mesh okay all right so now under core tech server mesh and v1 which is this is the revolution tech that i was talking about um, to enable people to transition from star system to star system and then mission system refactor so this one looks interesting it says we work in the underlying mission system to become compatible with server mesh and allow the easier creation and maintaining of uh, mission content so this is yeah this is going to be essential uh which would allow us to have missions in star system 4.0 making things incompatible with server meshing so that is essentially um it, it is light but it, it's still revolutionary um allowing us to you know transition from standard to pyro and after this patch you know new star systems coming in will be a lot quicker i believe you know i think uh next will probably come in inside of the 4.0 branch and I think the other um, systems, I think Castro will probably come in the 4.0 branch. You know, I think all of them will be in the 4.0 branch until they're ready to say that, hey, this is Star Citizen 1.0. All right. So um, you guys let me know your thoughts, how you guys feel about uh, 4.0 being gutted like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let you all know that in my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.